Yo, welcome back to another vid. Um, today we are doing another reaction. Um, last reaction did pretty good. Got a, a couple feedbacks. Appreciate y'all the um positive comments also. Um, yeah, today we are re reacting to animals. You will be happy are extinct. Okay, that's what we are reacting to today. Um. Yeah, let's hop into it. Let's turn this down a little bit. Our planet is facing the greatest extinction of Okay, hold on. Um, also, if y'all got any video ideas, I mean, not video ideas, but yeah, video ideas or um, any videos y'all want me to react to, just send it to my Twitter. Um, I'm going to put my Twitter on um, the screen. Uh, yeah. Hey, send whatever you want. It could be funny, educational, it doesn't, spiritual, it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to do some reactions and get some revenue. Also, if you you not haven't started YouTube, man, start your YouTube channel, man. Start that freaking YouTube channel. Do something. Do something you like doing and just monetize it. Put some ads on it. Um also you only need a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch time hours on YouTube. Uh, in order to get monetized on YouTube and start earning money, you know, and it's all about CPM on YouTube Like you can't be cussing too much. I mean you can cuss but you can't cuss too much, right? But yeah Try to get into that man, because that's revenue you, you need, Hey, I mean, who don't like money? Come on now It's true because I know people out there love living good. Come on, dude. Let's watch our video. I've been in a see as soon as this video talking about it's not the meteorite that threatens their lives. It's a human being. Over the last 50 years, humans have destroyed almost two thirds of species. You'll never wow. hear the sweet Sardinian pika again. The orange frog will no longer warn you of the rain with its croaking. And what? And melodrama fans will not be able to tease the Tasmanian wolf at the zoo, calling him a striped Jacob. But unlike wow. some animals, we've lived to see that we can work miracles with the help of genetic engineering. On the 23rd of mm, February this good. year, a sensational event took place. Australian photographer Neil Waters posted stunning content on the internet, a picture of the very Tasmanian wolf that was considered to be extinct 85 years ago. It could mean that scientists have already secretly made progress in cloning, and we can fix it all. Cloning? There's another question. Is it worth doing it? See, see, I man, I like this dude video. I go uh, answer. There's someone I'd like interesting. To meet. In order to do this, you need to raise your head up. This is Host's eagle, the largest bird of prey of historical era. Host's eagle is very similar to the world's largest eagle, the harpy eagle, only it was twice as heavy and its wingspan was 40% larger. It lived on New Zealand's South yeah, that's Island. That's a big ass bird. I mean, that's <laughs> a big bird, man. God damn. Bird. Legends say after the Maori people exterminated the Moa, the main source of food for Haas Seagull, the mega bird began to take revenge. Yo, on nah, that bird is nah. Therefore, the Maori I don't know if I'm seeing it right, but that bird don't look like bird. no bird. On the basis of an excuse of self-defense, the human being has become the most dangerous predator and killer of all time. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> we kill everything, don't we? Without fear we can kill everything. That's a fact. Perhaps you'd like to clone some other animal from the recently extinct ones. How do you like this guy? Giant short-faced bear. It's heavier than the modern rhinoceros, 50% bigger than the biggest polar bears, and mm. as you can see, twice your height. Wow. It must eat at least <laughs> of Who wouldn't kill eggs? Dude, you got to kill it, man. You don't know what's his intentions. Megalania Shoot. is the largest land lizard known to science. It was as long as a two-story building and weighed as much as the heart of a blue whale. Oh my but God. neither it nor the ancient grizzly were able to escape from a human being. For In real? The food chain, humans became their rivals. Oh my God. That's crazy. That the bear and Megalania ate. Us humans is uh, that people just savages. predators when they met them. 
Do you think you wouldn't have done it? First, get to know them. But where are they? You won't see Megalania right away. No, it's not shy. See, now, now this got me thinking. If we got animals like that, what else we got? What if we have people that was taller than them? Kind of animals. Now you got me thinking. I might do that again. I might do that, I can. I might do that with the chip bag. I like that uh, trick. Immediately rip open your belly and start eating you alive. It's a pity that such a unique species has become extinct. But don't worry, at the end of the 90s, there was a lot of speculation that Megalania had been seen in Australia or New Guinea. Maybe it's still alive without any cloning. And here comes the short-faced bear. It has no trouble finding you because of its distinctive, <clears throat> super-sensitive nose. Look into its chaps. Its fangs are pointed in different directions, similar to a tiger. No, that's a big bear in the lot. A bear's lateral teeth will effectively cut not only your tendons, but also your bones. Oh my god. The extermination god. of such monsters was a necessity for the survival of ancient nah, people. Nah, that's but crazy. Who wouldn't kill it, man? He dead. You not finna kill It's me or you, dude. To us. Shoot, it's gonna have to be you. Because I ain't going out like that, man. You got me messed up. When the camera was invented, <clears throat> and look at him, he all happy pictures. taking pictures. Don't be afraid to get closer to it. It's like a big cat with an interesting striped coloring. Look how lovely it yawns. Its mouth opens at 90 degrees. It turns out that this striped cat isn't so harmless. And who knows what a human can expect hmm. from it. I bet it looks like a zebra almost. Why I got stripes mouth. on it? In the year 2005, the Australian magazine The Bulletin offered 1.25 million Australian dollars Damn, reward a lot of money. to anyone who catches a live thylacine. And Neil Waters, president of Thylacine Evernos, can become a billionaire thanks to the photo of a whole family of thylacines, including a cub. Thylacine? How do you we found is the result of successful Maybe we'll try experiments to say it. by Forget scientists it. in the field of cloning. And soon we'll be able to recover the other recently extinct animals I introduced you to. By the way, people who were the first to think about it are the scientists from the Lazarus Project of the University of New South Almost Wales. like a, a dog, they a took big dog. tissue of a frog that had been dead and frozen since the 1970s. Scientists successfully implanted it into an egg of a closely related species of frogs. Although none of the... Oh, here we go with the ads. Everybody put ads on their videos. Here we go with the freaking ads. Have survived more than I can't even say nothing because I'm putting ads on my videos today. Towards turning Jurassic Park scenario into I don't reality. believe because dinosaurs. Were I, don't, I don't know about that. Hey, I'm not even going to speak on it. Maybe they were and maybe they wasn't. I haven't even heard of them or their superpowers. What would be really interesting to renew and place in the park with the resurgent ancient inhabitants is Helicoprion. This predatory fish is the least favorite Tooth Fairy's character. Its teeth had an unusual ability. <clears throat> they didn't fall out, but instead turned into a wheel on the lower jaw, similar to a pattern. With this deadly spiral, Helicoprion used to arrange Paleozoic Chainsaw Massacre. Watching Helicoprion through the glass of a large aquarium, one visitor of the park would be very interested in it. That would be Steven Spielberg. He would certainly be inspired to make the next Jaws with this character in the lead role. Unless, of course, Helicoprion gets beaten in this audition by Aquilolamna Milarkaye. Okay, how did we get here? I thought we were talking about some animals extinction. Scientists released the news about a preserved fossil of this Cretaceous shark found in the Gulf of Mexico. Its special feature, pectoral fins that resemble wings, and it resembles a funny stick. Right, there are so many creatures on this shark. planet, bro. <laughs> be interesting we got so many out of all kinds of creatures on this planet. Now I ain't gonna lie. Fashionable to have a mini piggy pet instead of a kitten. But what, what, what do we not have? <laughs> like, dang, bro. We got so many things target. on this planet, and we partner with most of them. We don't even know exist. 
If your dog is not doing its job well, you should know that robbers would surely fit the taste of Entelodont. Hopefully, it will spare the owner. It's amazing that the only thing that can save these super animals is cloning. For all their power, they've all failed to avoid extinction and extermination. All but one invincible creature. Honey badger. Here it is. The oh, honey badger. Itching, the menace of the wild king. Man, nobody's getting you doing like stroking that cute Ooh. badge. I wouldn't advise this. This guy's a real maniac. The yeah. honey badger is listed what in the about Guinness it? Book of Records as the most fearless animal. Not only does it defend itself with its thick, elastic skin that's hard to bite through, it also gets uh. into fights and scrapes first. The internet star honey badger. Shoot, ain't nobody trying to eat that. All I'm gonna do is stump it out. And Stop no, cloning it or shoot it. Into the wild, if I uh, knife it, other shoot. Zoo animals. Nobody's the honey badger you, is the crisp brown of the animal kingdom. Everyone okay, don't do that, dude. <laughs> do that. <laughs> See, he thought he was funny, Since man. That wasn't badger funny. Is not a member of the fight club, there would are smack no Chris Brown up there. Fight. It uses forbidden <sighs> techniques. <clears throat> it can viciously attack the face and eyes of its rival. Well, more specifically, its victim. Are you surprised at people who can easily chew popcorn grains? Honey oh, badger go another ad. Come on, hurry up. That ad stuff, man. Strong that it can eat turtles with a shell. And even if it falls into the mouth of a predator, let's say into the trap of the fangs of a Tasmanian wolf at 90 degrees, it still can't swallow the honey badger because it's also very dodgy. Perhaps you can go to Africa and see it up close, but it's not a fact that within the very first minutes of the meeting, it won't scratch your what eyes out. You might be thinking how cool it would be if all the above mentioned guys were as resilient as the honey badger and survived to this day. Well, scientists have been trying to clone the Tasmanian wolf since 1999. Three years later, its DNA was extracted, but it was found. That's weird how they be kind of like and clone stuff. Years, That's weird. Managed to make you know, like if they clone that, what else is they cloning? That's why you got to question everything. Have turned into a wolf. Then the scientists quietened down, and we could breathe a sigh of relief because we had the confidence that we couldn't get into its chaps, which opens like an electric meat grill. But suddenly, in 2021, these pictures of a Tasmanian wolf walking quietly through the woods of Tasmania, maybe the experiments got out of hand, and soon there will be photos of other extinct animals on the web who are walking near us now. We just uh, don't notice them. Yeah. What animal right. besides the Tasmanian wolf would you like to notice in your backyard? <clears throat> this is the character you met a few short minutes ago. The ancient short-faced bear. Its genome is well preserved and can be restored in the future. The problem is finding a surrogate mother, as the closest relative weighs about 10 times less. There may be genomes of other ancient animals. Which one would you bring back to life? A cannibal pig? A chainsaw fish? A baby killer eagle? Why shouldn't human beings resurrect themselves? Neanderthal is the most viable option for cloning. There's even a matching surrogate species. Then they said we. Us. Why However, do they say we evolved from monkeys? I don't believe that. The cloning of humans. I don't believe I did. Unethical. That don't make well, sense. Would you take responsibility for raising a Neanderthal? Do you still want to resurrect someone? Who? I'm good, man. In Forget the comments. Part nah. Would y'all? I don't know. I ain't worried about none of that. I mean, like, what is they gonna hope with? I think uh, that's good how they are. Just uh, extent. Forget it. But uh, yeah, that's it for um today. This vid. Um, that was a reaction to animals you would be happy are extinct. Um, yeah, I'm out of here. Um, y'all take care. And also remember, um, try to start your YouTube channel, or you know, so you can get some revenue. Hey, who who don't like money, man? Might as well just try it out. Whatever you like doing on whatever. Yeah, but uh, yeah, y'all take care. 
Um, I'm out of here. All right.